Organisms don't exist on their own, but have complex relationships with other species in the habitat and the physical environment. Ecology is the branch of biology that studies these relationships and tries to make sense of them. Now, if you're doing separate biology, you also need to know about another practical about how to investigate biodiversity and measure distribution. So let's say there's a task which says you need to measure how the distribution of an organism changes across a woodland path. You may take abiotic factor readings as well, because then what you might do is investigate if there's a relationship between those and a distribution of these species. Now, in this case, you're going to need one extra piece of apparatus, which is called a transect. So you need your transect and you need your quadrat as well. Now, a transect essentially is a, is a line. It's just a long line, uh, probably a tape measure again, that you can use to show you where to take your readings. Instead of placing quadrats randomly in an area to get an, a, a general idea of the sample, you're going to place these quadrats systematically along the transect. So you put a transect down. This is the woodland path. I'm going to look at what species are present in each of my quadrats as I move the quadrat along the transect. I'm going to record what stage it is on the transect, whether it's meter number one, meter number two, etc. And I'm going to record what I find in each of the quadrats. And I'm also going to take some abiotic data in each quadrat as well, such as the light intensity, such as the temperature. And then what I can do is I can look at biodiversity, because I can look at how the number of different species changes, maybe on the outsides of the path, I'm getting high biodiversity, maybe I'm getting 10 different species per quadrat, maybe in the middle of the path, I'm only getting one, if that diff uh, type of species. So the path has affected the biodiversity. Or I could look at one species, uh, uh, the population of it across the whole pathway, maybe look at plantain, for example, and look at the number of plantain in quadrat one, all the way along to quadrat 20, plot that on a graph against light intensity, and we can see if there's a relationship between light intensity and the number of daisies. So there's all sorts of data you can generate by putting down a transect and measuring systematically in order to look at biodiversity or look at distribution.